Okay, we're going to look now at how you can create a variety of different synth key sounds in Rhino CM. First load Rhino CM into your door. We need an empty preset to work from, so right click the first preset in the bank panel in the top left hand corner of the interface and select clear. This will initialize the preset and it will be renamed empty preset. Take a look at the OS2 tab at the top of the instrument's interface. You'll notice that the little line next to it says OS2 isn't illuminated like OS1's is. This is because the oscillator is turned off. Click the tab and in the oscillator shape panel, click the drop down menu arrow and select single cycle sign. You'll see that the light next to OS2 is now illuminated because you just turned this oscillator on. We don't actually want to hear this oscillator, we just want to use it to frequency modulate oscillator 1. To do this, drag up on the OS2 column in the OSC1 row. Set it to about 73 and set the pitch course value up to 12. This gives us a more percussive sound and we can make it yet more percussive by shortening the decay time of oscillator 2's envelope. To do this, drag up on the envelope display to zoom it in and drag the square at the right hand side of the highlighted area to the bottom of the display at about 0.03 on the horizontal axis. This gives us a simple synth marimba sound that's got a quite organic feel, but we'll also be able to punch through a mix. Another sound that frequency modulation synths such as Rhino CM are good for is electric piano. Create a duplicate of the Rhino CM track, and in this uh, new version of Rhino CM, turn up the pitch course parameter 48. This makes the attack of the sound brighter and gives us a really basic electro piano tone. Duplicate the synth again and turn the OSC2 to OSC1 modulation down to zero and turn the OSC1 to OSC1 modulation up to 75. And this gives us a very simple synth brass patch.